Uh, both the Heeren and Raffles City are exploring options for their retail space uh, with the impending exit of Robinsons from their properties. Well, the, the department store last week announced it would leave Singapore's retail scene after more than 160 years. A Robinsons is the anchor tenant at the Heeren and is in the process of liquidating its flagship store. Uh, no timeline yet as to when uh, Robinsons will shut for good. But the Heeren says it is in confidential discussions with the appointed provisional liquidator. And the building on Orchard Road is a mix of office and retail space and Robinsons occupies uh, six retail levels. While its departure will leave quite a big void, one property analyst says it's an opportunity for the landlord to rethink its strategy amid the pandemic. Let's say if it goes into a multi-tenant um, model, I think a lot of um, cu well, curation can be done to basically favour the trends of today. Not every segment of this whole retail industry is under pressure. We still see inquiries coming from wellness groups. We still see inquiries coming from sporting goods, lifestyle goods. You know? And also FMB has been a strong push and not forgetting stores that sell essential stuff. Meanwhile, Raffles City says discussions are underway with Robinsons for a smooth handover. Experts say given the challenges of COVID-19 and e-commerce, landlords need to rationalise their brand and retail mix and position themselves clearly to get customers to come back. People are still looking for the experience. Uh, the online itself couldn't, uh, it's by on its own, uh, fulfill this kind of uh, our social need uh, for interaction and shopping. And so therefore, such um, the, the malls together with uh, retailers need to be able to come together to create this kind of uh, experience that will draw people in, uh, that they will find meaning in, in, in visiting.